What's up guys? As you might have noticed, I don't want to spoiler you, okay, I want to spoiler. Uh, LumaFusion 2.0 is available as a update in the App Store. But before you're going to take out your iPad, keep on watching because I'm going to show you the new features. So let's jump into the iPad. Before we start, just a short information. All the effects I've created in this specific timeline are using stuff out of my LumaFusion Ultimate Bundle. Link is in the info box and the video description. But now let's start with 2.0 because I think you are as excited as I am. The first thing you will notice are changes in the layout. Of course, we have different layout options again, which you can select down here, but this one is definitely my favorite. Um, like in the previous versions, we have our media center on the top left corner and right next to it on the right side is our preview window. Here's also our first change. Right below the preview window, we have um, a stylized timeline, which gives us the opportunity to scroll through our project very fast and precise. Below that are our preview controls. The only thing that has changed here are markers you can set now, which are pretty useful for bigger projects and um, you can change the color and give them a short text so you know where this marker stands for. To delete this marker, just tap the marker button again, which appears like with the keyframes now with a X in it and tap on it and the marker will be deleted. In the preview controls is also a hidden feature implemented. If you keep your fingers pressed on it, and move it to one direction, you will notice that there is a chalk shuttle, uh, which gives us the opportunity to move frame by frame in different speeds. The more you swipe away from your starting point, the faster it will be. So this is pretty cool because now you're able to set cuts very precise. In the lower half of our screen is our big timeline. Looks pretty much like the old one so far, but as you can see, we have up to six video layers now and of course we can add the same amount of audio layers so six audio layers and six video layers in total to handle this amount of layers we can swipe vertical now and of course right and left like before the ipad pro i've got is powerful enough to play back six 4k streams simultaneous so this is just crazy. I guess you have to buy a very expensive computer to handle this amount of layers in 4K, but the iPad makes it with easily, yeah. And if you have a newer iPad than I am, it will be even better, I guess, because they have newer CPUs and graphics chips. I don't think that you need a pro iPad. I think the new normal iPad is powerful enough too. You might think this is my favorite new feature, but it's only ranked two. My favorite feature will come later, so keep on watching. But of course we have some more new features I don't want to hide. Um, you can set easy J cuts now by simply dragging a clip and um, adjusting the length. Let's continue with the editing control panel down below the timeline. There are a few minor changes. As you might have noticed, the panel on the left and the right sides have disappeared, so there aren't any panels anymore. And moved into one panel below the timeline, so this one down here. Let's start on the left side. The first button on the left opens the layer control pan center where you can lock, mute or hide the layer. Uh, pretty useful if, if we have so much or so many possible layers. Um, we can, for example, simply hide one layer and just play back the audio if we want to use the audio only and so on. Right next to it is the audio control center where you can adjust the volume for every audio and video layer. Um, also a nice feature 
if we have bigger projects. The last button on the left side is the Add menu, um, where you can choose what kind of layer you want to add to a specific clip. The options are voiceover, transition, blank clip, main title and overlay title. Just tap on it and we've added a title. Let's continue in the middle. There are the following buttons from the left to the right. Duplicate, separate audio, link and unlink. Open the editing window. Select presets, very cool feature. Copy and paste, set a cut and of course delete. I really like this layout because it lets me edit very precise and much faster than before. And finally on the right side are our project controls. The right button opens the project overview and lets us choose which project we want to open. Next to it are the global controls where you can make bigger changes affecting all projects and LumaFusion itself. Next to that are the layout options. We have six layouts here. There will be more if we uh, add a screen. And next to that is our export button. But now let's come to my favorite new feature. Therefore, I have to change the camera position because we have to plug in a little adapter. This is the Apple HDMI adapter. Um, link is in the info box up there. And you need this adapter to plug in your iPad to a external monitor. So simply plug in the adapter and the HDMI cable like this. It's plugged in now. And here we go. As you can see, the iPad screen is mirrored to the external monitor. But that's not the new feature I want to show you. Um, as you can see, the monitor just uh, mirrors the iPad screen. But there's a little button appearing over there. Let's focus. So this button right next to the home button. This button is giving us the great opportunity to change the layout and use the monitor, for example, as a big preview window. So let's touch this. And as you can see, it mirrors not the iPad screen anymore. It shows us the preview window, so like this. And if I press play, it plays us back the preview window. So we have a big preview screen and can use the iPad as a control panel only. And this is amazing. But there are more layouts to choose. There's a layout button down there. And now we can use um, different or choose different layouts. It makes it so much nicer to preview footage or to use the bigger timeline. Um, for example, imagine if you're plugging in a TV and previewing your video on a very big screen, so a 55 inch TV or something like that, just amazing. But let's choose a different preview a layout. So maybe this, and now you have the full control. This is just amazing. Scrolling through your timeline with a more than amazing preview. This feature works with AirPlay as well, but of course HDMI is more fluent because it's a wired solution and not a wireless solution. There will al always be a lag with a wireless solution. So if we tap on the editing button to open the editing window, we see that there are no major changes. What is good in my opinion, because I really like the usability of this layout, just the style of the uh, tabs in the effect uh, button have changed a bit, but that's fine.
nothing I would call a new feature. Let's go back and to the export settings. There are some new export options which are coming with uh, LumaFusion 2.1 and LumaFusion 2.2. For example, you will be able to export a XML project package which you can load into Final Cut Pro 10 on your MacBook or your Mac, iMac or whatever Mac you're using um, to continue editing there. Um, this is very nice because, for example, if you are abroad on a trip, start editing, choosing the clips you want to use, set a good base for a better editing. You can do it in LumaFusion, export the project package, load it into your computer, and then do crazy stuff with After Effects or Motion or whatever you can use Final Cut for. And of course you can select Frame.io in the sources to get feedback um, from the Frame.io community where you are able to share your project with. Very cool features, but as I mentioned, they won't be included in 2.0, so keep excited. Okay, aren't these features amazing? I really enjoy them. I've already got LumaFusion a couple of weeks, I have to say, so sorry for that. Um, that's also the reason I only showed uh, tutorials on my phone screen because the uh, update is only on my iPad. So I was able to test LumaFusion for the last couple of weeks. Um, also, I was able to uh, recommend or to, to admit features I want to add, I want LumaTouch to add. So this is really great. Um, so you can be sure in future LumaFusion will get better and better at new useful features we all want to have. Um, I've added all my last projects on LumaFusion 2.0, so all the videos I've uploaded to YouTube are edited on my iPad in LumaFusion. So um, I just have to say LumaFusion 2.0 is amazing. It's very fast, very useful and so precise like never before. So now let's tag out your iPads and update LumaFusion and have fun with it. Bye. Uh, stop, stop, stop. Don't forget to give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any future videos. Bye.